This is how you disavow backlinks to your website using the Google Search Console. Now, before we start, there's just a few things to note. Number one, you only use this method under extreme circumstances. Number two, most websites out there have a number of spammy backlinks. It's just a common thing that for whatever the reason is, there are some bots coming to your website that create these spammy backlinks, but nine times out of 10, there's nothing to worry about and you can just ignore it. Now, most cases when people have to worry about spammy backlinks and when Google have started to penalize you is as a result of using black hat SEO techniques. The most common and dangerous black hat SEO technique is got to do with backlinks. A lot of people stupidly think that if you go onto websites like Fiverr and many others and you pay providers that will give you hundreds and thousands of backlinks to your website, that this is going to promote your website. In fact, what it does is sometimes the actual opposite. Once you understand that and you're 100% certain that some of these links are toxic and they're doing damage, this is how you disavow it. The first thing that you have to do is get a list of all those dodgy and horrible backlinks and put it on a Google Sheet. The next thing that you have to do is that you have to put all those links on a TXT file. You can go to Google and just look for any online TXT file converter. Then what I have to do is I go to Google Sheets, I copy all those URLs and I paste it and save that TXT file. Then you have to go to Google and look for the Disavow Links Tool Search Console. Once you're in it, you'll see that you're in the right place because Google will actually give you a warning to use this website with extreme caution. The way that it works is you upload this file and Google will confirm that they've seen it. Then you have to keep on checking with Search Console and other backlink tools to see that Google have disavowed it. If they have successfully, you should start seeing an improvement in your SEO results. Once again, it's a very sensitive topic and I would only use an SEO professional to help you with this. I wouldn't just jump into it by yourself.